In this video, I take my new Sony FX6 to the park and ruin a few shots with a circular polarizer. Here's the story. It was a beautiful day, so I took the Sony FX6 to Wilson Botanic Park in Berwick and went with a few photographer friends. And I shot with the Sony 24-70mm f2.8 GM at 2.8 the whole time. And we're shooting in 4K, 25p, S Gamut 3, Cine S Log 3, plus I color corrected with Cine Match. Every shot is with a 180 degree shutter and I used a Manfrotto circular polarizer and every shot has auto variable ND as well, which is exclusive to the Sony cameras. So you can see the bokeh in the background there. And in this shot, it shows a bit of the dynamic range, which I was fairly happy with. And this shot is using the face and eye detect autofocus, which I'm still getting used to. And this demonstrates a bit more of the dynamic range out of the FX6 as well in this shot. And some more close up shots. And all the shots are handheld except this, and I'm using the Cine Saddle to get the shots to be as stable as possible. And right now, this shot is just recording with the Cine Saddle on the ground. Some more close up shots showing the bucket in the background. And I think I turned the variable ND off here. And this is the first shot where I realized that the circular polarizer is ruining my shots. If you look in the bottom left corner, you can see some weird colors. And if you look in the bottom left here, when I pan to the left, you can see some funky color stuff as well due to the circular polarizer. So this is probably user error on my part, I'll admit that. And the reason I use a circular polarizer is to get rid of some of the highlights on the water. Here I'm actually spinning around the circular polarizer so you can see what it's doing to the sky. And this shot is in the shade and I've got the variable ND on as well. This shot I'm getting using my Cine Saddle and the lens is set to 70 mils as well. So I'm getting acceptable stabilization using the Cine Saddle. And here's a cliche close-up shot of a tree branch. And I found a bee here. And here's another photographer who we found at the park who loves a chat about gear. He shoots Nikon. And once again, you can see some funky colors in around the side of the frame due to the circular polarizer. And come to think of it, it might not just be because of the circular polarizer, it could be because it's working with the variable ND as well, which is built into the Sony FX6. So this is my first time using the system with the variable ND and the circular polarizer. So if you have any insight as to why the funky colors are happening, let me know in the comments and we can all learn together. And here I'm still using the face and eye autofocus. And then if I find that it's not focusing on the face that I want it to, I'll then just manually adjust it and then it figures itself out. And now I go through the circular polarizer here. So if you look at the uh, house roofs, you can see how it changes the reflectiveness of the roof tiles. And now I'm duck hunting. And now here's a good example of going from shade and then into sun with the variable ND. So I'm not changing anything, this is all the camera, just doing it itself, all auto. I was pretty happy with how that turned out. And we end on a nice close up of a flower. And that's the video. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to this channel for more videos on video creation and the Sony FX6 in the future.